Currently, the reef replanting process requires a lot of manpower. Divers plant coral larvae or coral fragments individually. Often, such restoration efforts occur in a region no larger than 10,000 square feet. Meanwhile, the degradation of corals is occurring in thousands of square miles. The new technique involves the stabilization of coral larvae in a specially designed substrate. Instead of being planted individually by hand, the larva line substrate adheres naturally to the reef. The substrate looks like a small anchor, similar to a star. It is caught in cracks in the reef, allowing corals to be sown naturally in the reef structure. Using previous methods, planting 10,000 individual corals within a 10,000 square foot plot requires several hundred to a few thousand person hours of work. Sowing the same amount of corals could be achieved in less than 50 person hours, a time saving of more than 90 percent, said Margaret Miller, director of research at Secor, in a press release. In addition, material costs could be reduced by up to one-third, which represents a substantial advance for restoration work in the future.